zero, the number that symbolizes nothing. Yet, it's the foundation of everything we know about mathematics, science, and technology. But it wasn't always so. For centuries, humanity grappled with the idea of zero. Today, we'll uncover the story of how nothing transformed into one of the most revolutionary concepts in human history. Our journey begins in ancient times, when humans first started counting. Early numerical systems, like those of the Egyptians, Babylonians, and Romans, did not include zero. Numbers were only meant to count things, sheep, grains, coins. But how do you count nothing? The Babylonians came close. Around 300 BCE, they developed a positional numbering system, where the placement of a digit mattered. But they used the blank space as a placeholder, not a true zero. Imagine reading 12 and 120 without any way to distinguish between them. Over time, they added a small wedge symbol to avoid confusion. But this was still not the zero we know today. The true hero of our story is ancient India. By the 5th century CE, Indian mathematicians had fully embraced zero as both a number and a concept. The breakthrough came with Brahmagupta, who in 628 CE wrote rules using zero in his book. For the first time in history, zero was treated as more than just a placeholder. It was a number in its own right. Brahmagupta even attempted to define division by zero, though his explanation hinted at the complexities mathematicians would grapple with for centuries. From India, the concept of zero traveled eastward to China. Later, Arabic scholars like Al-Khwarizmi and Al-Kindi played a pivotal role in popularizing zero. In fact, Al-Khwarizmi's work on algorithms, which is where the word algorithm comes from, relied heavily on zero. By the 9th century, the Arabic numer numeral system, including zero, was revolutionizing mathematics. But the journey wasn't over yet. When zero finally reached Europe in the 12th century, thanks to translations of Arabic texts, it wasn't welcomed with open arms. Many European scholars viewed zero with suspicion. How could nothing be something? Some even saw it as heretical, a concept tied to the void and chaos. By the Renaissance, zero was finally gaining acceptance. Mathematicians like René Descartes used zero to create the Cartesian coordinate system, revolutionizing geometry. Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz independently developed calculus, a field that wouldn't exist without zero's role as a foundation for limits and derivatives. Fast forward to today, and zero is everywhere. It powers the binary code that runs your computers, on and off, ones and zeros. It's the backbone of modern mathematics, physics, and even cosmology where scientists use zero to explore the origins of the universe itself. In many ways, zero symbolizes the infinite possibilities of human thought. It reminds us that even the most abstract ideas can change the world. Zero is more than just a number. It's a journey, a revolution, and a symbol of our capacity for innovation. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share your thoughts about zero in the comments.